The New York Yankees? The New York Yankees! <laughs> Ruth Gehrig? DiMaggio? Mantle? Costanza? <laughs> I'm the assistant to the traveling secretary. I'm going on the road trips with them. I'll be on the plane. I'm working in Yankee Stadium. This is a dream. I am busting. Jerry, I'm busting. I can't believe it. Ah! <laughs> yeah. It's me. Come on up. And I'm moving out of my parents' house. I'm taking that apartment on 86th Street. Remember the one we saw? That's a great place. I'm back in business, baby! <laughs> Why don't you tell me about some of your previous work experience? Oh, all righty. Uh, my last job was in publishing. I uh, got fired for having sex in my office with the cleaning woman. Go on. Uh, all right, there. well, before that, I was in real estate. Uh, I quit because my boss wouldn't let me use his private bathroom. <laughs> oh, that was it. Do you talk to everybody like this? Of course. Well, my niece told me you were different. I am different, yeah. yeah. But I gotta tell you, you are the complete opposite of every applicant we've seen. Uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, sir. There's someone here I'd like you to meet. This is Mr. Costanza. He's one of the applicants. Nice to meet you. Well, I wish I could say the same, but I must say, with all due respect, I find it very hard to see the logic behind some of the moves you have made with this fine organization. In the past 20 years, you have caused myself and the city of New York a good deal of distress as we have watched you take our beloved Yankees and reduce them to a laughing stock, all for the glorification of your massive ego. Hire this man. <laughs> all right, all right. What are you all sweating for? It's hot in this uniform. Hot? What is this? What is what? This uniform, what's it made from? I don't know, cotton? No, 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 no. This is not cotton. Here, let me see. What are you doing? I want to see the one. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Here, stop. <laughs> oh, of course. Polyester. No. I can't believe you're not playing in cotton. No. This is what they give us. You know, they used to make leisure suits out of this fabric. <laughs> you really think cotton's better? Of course. All right. Maybe I'll say something to Buck. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Catch you later. Yeah. Hey, don't embarrass me today. I got some friends in the stands, huh? <laughs> hey, Buck. Talk to you for a second. <laughs> How's everything going? Everything okay? Well, you know, all of a sudden there's a problem with tartable swing, but... <laughs> Listen, Buck, I, uh, obviously I don't need to talk to you about the importance of player morale, but, uh, I've been talking to some of the guys, and some of them, I don't want to mention any names, but some of them are not too happy with the polyester uniforms. How so? Well, they get very hot in the polyester. You know, it's not a natural fiber. I think they would prefer cotton. Cotton, huh? Cotton breathes. You see, it, it, it's much softer. I mean, imagine playing games and your team is five degrees cooler than the other team. Don't you think that would be an advantage? They're cooler, they're more comfortable, they're happier. They're going to play better. You may have something there, George. Oh, I've got something. Hmm, cotton uniforms. Well, did you see it? See what? The uniforms! Did you see how they played? Listen to these comments. Wade Boggs, what a fabric. Finally, we can breathe. <laughs> Luis Polonia, cotton is king. Paul O'Neill, I never dreamed anything could be so soft and fluffy. Hey, hey, Yankee game. Oh, great. All right. And the Yankees take the field. Hey, what is with the Yankees? They look like they're having trouble running. They can't move. It's their uniforms. They're too tight. They've shrunk. <laughs> they're running like penguins. Forget this game. Oh, my God. Mattingly just split his pants. <laughs> gotcha, Sam. Hitting is not about muscle. It's simple physics. Calculate the velocity V in relation to the trajectory T in which G, gravity, of course, remains a constant. <laughs> It's not complicated. Now, who are you again? George Costanza, assistant to the traveling secretary. Are you the guy who put us in that Ramada in Milwaukee? You want to talk about hotels? Or you want to win some ball games? Hey, we won the World Series. We 
six games. Uh, George. Have you seen that American League directory? It's um, a big green book. Oh. Right here. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. possible to add a little shelf like uh, for an alarm clock? <laughs> what about maybe that big? I don't know, maybe like this. Like that? Yeah, like that. Yeah, I can do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this could sound crazy, but what do you think about adding a drawer for like a blanket? Blanket or a quilt? Blanket. About that thick? Or maybe like this. Like that? Yeah, like that. That's what you want? That's what I want. <laughs> hey, George. You want this cup holder, uh, you want it mounted on the left, or the right, or in the middle? Whatever! <laughs> oh, 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 this is unbelievable! This is better than my bed at home! All right. It's been a long night. You go home and get some sleep. That's what you want? That's what I want. <laughs> Morning, George. Morning, Mr. Wilhelm. <laughs> Costanza, where's Costanza? Excusez-moi, have you seen Costanza? Uh, I've seen him around. Oh, he was humming this song yesterday. I can't seem to get it out of my head. I gotta know the name of that. She's a heartbreaker, love taker, brew baker, run this person like a man. Oh, oh. Something like that. Very catchy, too. Very, very catchy. Well, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and wait for that guy. What is this, people? Hmm. The most beautiful people, people. <laughs> Connie Selica. Nothing wrong with that, huh? <laughs> Where the hell is this guy? I'm waiting here three and a half hours for crying out loud. Should I go? No way, Jack. I'm not humming it to the guy at the record store again, I'll tell you that. Mr. Steinbrenner? That's what they call me. Your grandchildren are here to see you. Oh, well, send them in. Send the tykes in. I wait to see them. Hey, you little kids. Who, who are you people? Come here. Come here. How about a ride on the Stein Pony Express? Get up here. What's your name? Shorty? Mel? Are you Mel? Hello. Jerry, I'm trapped behind my desk. Steinbrenner's in the room. You've got to help me. Who is this? Jerry! Hi. Get away. Shh. Get away. Shh. Get away. Hi, I'm Brian. You got it, Brian. Burn up! Burn up! Why don't you just have him paged? Because you see the extensions. Come on. 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 A bomb threat? Why would I call in a bomb threat? Just call! I think I should have some reason. Shut up! <laughs> hey, you kids are up on all the new tunes. Tell me if this one rings a bell. Heartbreaker, love taker, shoemaker, won't you fix my shoes for free? Huh? Anything? Shorty? Girl? Mrs. Steinbrenner? We just received a call. There's a bomb in the building. A bomb in the building? Oh my god, quick! Everybody onto the desk! George will be blunt. The Mets need somebody to head up scouting, and we think that someone might be you. Head up scouting? Interested? I'm still here. <laughs> now, unfortunately, league rules prevent us from making you an offer while you're still under contract. You understand what we're talking about? So you're talking about... No, no. We're not talking. <laughs> we're just... talking. <laughs> so you need me to get fired. We didn't say that. No, we couldn't say that, because even if we did... We couldn't say that we said it. You see what we're saying? <laughs> you are still paying for this lunch. We didn't say that. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but look what I found in the Yankee Hall of Pride display case. <laughs> Isn't that big Ruth's uniform? Is it? <laughs> Strawberries, anyone? <laughs> ah, it's good. Oh, juicy this time of year. <laughs> Gotta get the good ones. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. You want to see me, sir? 
I heard about what happened at the meeting this morning. Oh, uh, yes. I already packed up my desk, sir, so I can be out of here in an hour. And I have to tell you, it's exactly what this organization needed. <laughs> we want to look to the future. We've got to tear down the past. Babe Ruth was nothing more than a fat old man with little girl legs. <laughs> and here's something I just found out recently. He wasn't really a sultan. <laughs> huh? What do you make of that? Hey, check this out. Lou Gehrig's pants. Not a bad fit. Hey, you don't think that nerve disease of his was contagious, do you? Uh, better take him off. I'm too important to this team. Big Stein can't be flopping and twitching. Hey, how about some lunch? What are you going for? Uh, Jerry. I can't get fired. Hey, body suit man. What's up? Hey, body suit man. Hey. Hey, look at this. Body suit man. Hey. Pension Steinbrenner and front office morons. The triumphs mean nothing. You all think you can sit on it and rotate. <laughs> this is George Costanza. I fear no reprisal. That's in five, one, seven hours. I heard what you did in the parking lot, big boy, and it is inexcusable. <laughs> Personally insulting me, my staff, I cannot believe that you, bodysuit man, could perpetrate such a disloyal deed. <laughs> Breaks my heart to say it. Oh, my kid and I love it. Yeah. Wait, wait, Mr. Steinbrenner. George doesn't deserve any of the blame for what happened in the parking lot today, sir. If there's anyone to blame here, it's me. What are you talking about, Wilhelm? You popping pills? You got the crazies again? No, 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 sir. I ordered George to drive around insulting people today because I'm tired of all your macho head games. <laughs> He's lying, sir. I'm tired of all your macho head games. Macho head games? He's just being loyal to me, sir. Wilhelm, you're fired. I owe you an apology, bodysuit man. Straight on. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I'm not going to the game today. I'm going to go outside and scalp some tickets. Owner's box, that's got to bring in 40 bucks, no problem. Mr. <laughs> what was that? I wanted to get fired. George, you are looking at the new head scout of the New York Mets. <laughs> meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Come right out and meet the Mets. Wow, this is your office? Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, George, didn't I got a girl in here? I have a single on the doorknob, like a necktie or a sock or something. Come on, help me out. Mr. Steinbrenner, I would like to thank you for taking a chance on a hen supervisor at Tyler Chicken, oh. like our oh. boy George here. Hen supervisor from Tyler Chicken? Yeah, it's very nice for her to have met you, Wait sir. Wait a minute, George. You're right with you. Look, Mr. Steinbrenner. Moon lining for Tyler Chicken. Pretty impressive, George. Days with the New York Yankees and nights in Arkansas with a top flight bird outfit. And a hen supervisor to boot. I am blown, blown away. Blow, George. Blow. Don Tyler, George Steinbrenner here. I want to talk about George Costanza. I understand he's been dividing his time between us and you. I cannot have that. Well, I don't know who he is, but if you want him that bad, I'm not giving up that easy. Oh, that's so. Playing a little hardball, huh, Donnie boy? How about this? You give me Costanza, I convert your concessions to all chicken, no charge. Mm. Instead of hot dogs, chicken dogs. Chicken. Instead of pretzels, chicken twists. <laughs> Instead of beer, alcoholic chicken. How do you make that alcoholic chicken? I live from it, just like anything else. <laughs> that stuff sounds great. All right, I'll have Costanza on the next bus. <laughs> so... The New York Yankees traded you for a bunch of Tyler chicken. Dogs, twists, kind of fermented chicken drink. 